Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for August 16th. Uh, this is just a preview, perhaps, of what's to come. Uh, let's just see what comes up. So, so uh, you know, the first thing I see is the Hermit, which is restraint. Okay, it's restraint to the highest power. So I feel like we have somebody here that may be going within, refocusing, making a plan, um, taking a time out, um, becoming consciously aware of what they want, where they're going. Um, so perhaps this is a day of contemplation, of retreat, okay? Um, I think that we have a need to be flexible, a need to adapt. There may be a lot of busyness going on. I'm seeing the Two of Pentacles, obviously. There may be a lot of busyness, a lot of juggling life. You know, so somebody may need to take a step back to refocus, to bring balance. I feel like there's just a lot going on and we, there's a feeling of needing to, you know, get back on track. I feel, um, now I see the Nine of Pentacles reversed. So if somebody may need to find some discipline. They may need to take action. There could be fear of giving up independence because the Hermit is very independent. The Nine of Pentacles is very independent. And we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Or we could have somebody that is thinking about becoming independent. It could go either way. Um, independence is on the mind, whichever way it goes. It's a, it's about independence. It's about, you know, what do I want to do? So we have some thinking here, and it does have to do with independence. Um, we're going to start right here. Um, satisfaction, you know, what is going to bring satisfaction to our life or your life or my life or whatever. I just saw the Nine of Cups. That is a card of satisfaction. I feel that today is a day of contemplation. Um, hmm. Somebody may be coming up with a new idea, okay? They may be realizing something. I just saw the Ace of Swords, so they could be realizing something. They could get some sort of epiphany, some sort of wake-up call through their period of contemplation. Say you're sitting outside or you're sitting in your car or you're doing something and you may get this epiphany. Pay attention to that, okay? Because you may get some sort of epiphany or idea that leads you in a new direction or gives you the answer that you have been seeking, Okay, um, now the hermit is a Jesus consciousness, so somebody's, you know, maybe there, maybe somebody is waking up, you know, going through some sort of awakening and getting these new ideas in their head. Don't ignore them, please. Um, those are messages that you do not ignore your intuition, please. Um, Seven of Cups trying to do too much. We have somebody here that is needing to make a choice, maybe feeling confused. You know, maybe you, you're, you're trying to beware of any false beginnings. You know, you don't want to get yourself involved in any sort of illusions, fantasies, whatever. And I think that, so yeah, today is a, is a, is a very complex day of thought by the looks of things. Um, sun, didn't we have this yesterday? I think we did. This is happiness. Enlightenment. This is very positive. Okay. I want to see what we get for the rest of the cards here. This is being enlightened. What do we got for the 16th? It's a good day. I mean, obviously, it's a positive day. It's a happy day. You know, somebody it may be happy, you know, right where they're at. And they don't want to give up their independence. Or something like that. I don't know. Ten of Wands reversed. Ten of Pentacles upright. Now, these are both completions. They're tens. Somebody is making some conscious changes to drop something could be dropping weight um dropping a burden 
This is being dropped. This is making that conscious change to drop something that has been weighing you down. So somebody is making that decision. I'm going to have to shut that off. My apologies. And whatever this decision is that somebody is making is going to make them feel more comfortable. Okay, somebody is probably starting to feel more comfortable or they're going to feel more comfortable. Hold on one second. Um... Hmm. Two of Pentacles. Remember, I saw that. Two of Pentacles. This is taking the next step, getting back on track because that's what that is. Staying afloat, you know, juggling, trying to make sure that things are on the up and up, making sure that nothing falls apart here, making sure that you don't fall down, right? But you may feel like you're, you know, this is right, floating on water. You may, and this is very happy. And it's, it's, hmm. Interesting. Seven of Wands. Defending yourself, protecting yourself. Somebody may be protecting, or somebody may be protecting you, pushing people away. Hey, man, reverse. No more stalling. I'm done stalling. No more. Somebody is done stalling. Not going to sacrifice. Not going to waste their time. They've been enlightened. Somebody has been enlightened. And with the Ace of Swords, they've gotten some sort of epiphany. That it's time to get moving because this person is pedaling in a new direction. I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to be proud of myself. I'm a freaking warrior. So we got a, this person's a warrior. So we got somebody here who's in freaking warrior mode. And I feel it. Um, dropping this. Hmm. two of wands this is the moment of decision somebody is making a decision to drop something to let go of something this the ten of wands is is personal freedom it really is and it's going to make you feel very comfortable three of swords reverse letting go of the past hurts letting go of the pain they're going through a recovery Somebody is going through some sort of recovery, making a decision. They've made a decision, but I think somebody has made, or they wake up and they make this decision because the Ace of Wands is a new idea and it's an awakening of some sort. The tower, you know, I saw the tower at the very, very beginning, but I, I didn't say it because everybody's so scared of it. So yes, there is some sort of rude awakening here. There's a rude awakening. There's somebody's structure is being rebuilt you know, it's like there's a massive change going on. There's a massive realignment. There's been some sort of disruption. There's a realignment that is happening that is helping you to move in a new direction. Somebody may be leaving a relationship. Okay, somebody may be leaving a relationship, dropping a relationship. You notice if you look at this Ten of Wands, there's one woman here, and then there's a, a man and a woman and a kid. And this kid is looking at the woman, you know, he's like holding on to his father. That's probably not his mother. That's my guess. So I think we have somebody here that is leaving behind a relationship. That's what it looks like to me. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Um... Now, it doesn't have to be the Ten of Pentacles. This could be a job even. I mean, I know this is some sort of family situation right here. But a structure, this could be a job. This could be a home. There's a change in your structure. This could be your body. There's a change. Somebody is headed in the right direction, by the way. The High Priestess. This is an inner knowing. And like I said, I think I started this out with uh, going within. Silence. It's a day of... You know, using your power, harnessing your power, um, following your intuition, seeing things clearly, going through an awakening. Um, yeah, somebody is going through some sort of awakening. And I think that they know, they know something. This is somebody that is very, very intuitive. <laughs> Let me get some more cards. The star reversed, there's some sort of despair. The star reversed is there's been a lack of, of wish fulfillment. 
somebody has been stalling, sacrificing themselves needly for, needlessly for something. And I think we, somebody has gone some sort of epiphany. They've heard the message, okay? They've, they've received the message that it's time to, you know, be the warrior that you freaking are, okay? Stop stalling. Stop living in uh, despair. St stop living in that self-loathing state of mind. Be proud. Look at this as an opportunity to be free. It's you know there's a there's a big bright future in front of you. So I feel like today is a day where somebody gets this realization. Like I said, with that ace of saw ace of swords, that you know happiness is within me. If you think about the nine of pentacles. Nobody comes completes me. I complete me. So I feel like today is a day of um, of realignment. It's a day of great personal change. I think this is personal change. I feel like we have somebody that is recovering, you know, and they are just letting something go. They are letting something go. They they see it as what it is, and even though it hurts, or you know, it, it's like. Oh, what's that song? Oh, God, what is that song? It's, uh, it's by Sarah, somebody, and it's, uh, better. It's something about getting better with each passing day. It's getting better and better and better and better and better with each passing day. Sarah Evans, I think it's by. So that's what this is. Like somebody is recovering. Somebody is recovering and, you know, they're, they are finally taking steps away from the false sense of security. It's like they're owning it. I'm owning it. I know they've received some intuitive message or some sort of divine guidance that whatever it is that they held on to wasn't, you know, wish fulfillment. So I, I think this is an epiphany. Oh my God. Here we go. Nine of Pentacles on the bottom. So yeah, this is good. I'm good. I'm great. I'm single. I love it. So somebody gets this realization that independence is where it's at. This person is enjoying the finer things in life. Has everything in order. This is abundance. This is a business owner. This is somebody... It doesn't have to be a business owner. But this is, you know, having everything you need to survive and living your life with gratitude it's like gratitude for the lessons i'm i'm so good life is so good so i feel like we get somebody gets some sort of epiphany that i'm good i'm good i'm not gonna stall i'm not gonna live in despair i think somebody has gone through some sort of spiritual awakening and they found their freaking inner warrior i'm just being honest with you so today is a day of of moving taking another step Taking, I'll post that song by Sarah Evans below once I find it. I don't know the name of it. But taking another step, going and heading in the right direction. Um, but I think it's also a day of of perhaps solitude, you know, not really commute. Because the high priestess uses silence to harness to harness their power you know to receive the messages so I feel, I feel like the day starts out as silent you know it starts out in solitude and somebody receives a message that this this wasn't wish fulfillment anyway stop hanging around you're beautiful you're great you're fine So I feel like today is a day of re-finding happiness within yourself. And that's what I got.